Micah Parsons, pretty good football player. Um, I mean, makes plays everywhere. Their D line is uh, super athletic. They're fast. They're number one, number one in pressures for a reason. They're really good at that. Uh, they got ball hawks in the secondary. Their linebackers are very skilled ta uh, tacklers. They make plays. Uh, I mean, it's going to be. I think it's really just going to be a very violent and physical football game, both sides of the football. And I know our defense is going to bring it. And they've got a very fantastic offense too. So I mean, it's just going to be a very violent football game. George. Oh. Prolifically, they do pressure the quarterback. How much of an emphasis is it to stay out of a constant drop back game here and, and really establish that run? Uh, I mean, I think we're just going to play 49er football, and that's run the ball. Um, it doesn't matter really what the look is. We're just going to run. We're going to run the football. Um, I think they're going to do everything they can to stop that, which I, I mean, that should be their game plan. But we're going to commit to that run. Um, just try to stay out of those third and longs. Try to you know, not have like 20 third and longs, and just try to make everything manageable for Brock and make it easy on our offensive line. Because, like I said, they're number one in pressures for a reason. They do a really good job. So we're going to try to keep everything manageable, be physical in the run game, and uh, get Chris McCaffrey and Elijah Mitchell the ball. George, before last year, it had been a long time since these two teams met on, on that playoff stage. What, what do you remember, kind of, about the, the atmosphere and the, the buildup uh, leading into that game, and then as it was taking place last year? Oh, I mean, it's still similar to this year. It was awesome. Uh, like I said, I mean. It's a rivalry that everyone wants to watch. 49ers fans, Cowboys fans hate each other. I mean, you can see all the trash talk all over social media. Uh, it's awesome to watch. You love being a part of games like that. Uh, that will, that's what makes playoff football so much fun, when you, when you get to play more rivalries. I mean, we got to play the Seahawks last week. That was a blast. Uh, two teams that don't like each other. Now we got to do it again uh, against the Cowboys, and it's going to be really fun. Have you seen the photo from last year of Trent Williams with the two fans? I'm assuming you have. What, yeah. what, 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 what did you think of that? It's fantastic. You know, honestly, it's – Great for Trent Williams to keep, keep his composure. And honestly, that was the best reaction possible, just laughing in their faces. So I, I love that. And I know that, you know, probably Cowboys have seen that too, and they're going to use that as motivation. And I can't wait to play football on Sunday. George, George there was a lot of newness. Ago, referred to you and him and Brandon as the Yak Brothers. Mm. And you've since added Christian, obviously, who's very good at that. He's okay, yeah. <laughs> why is this offense set up, set up to – Why? how does it set you guys up to – to thrive on, on after the catch? Oh, I mean, I think the first thing is our mindset. Um, and the entire offseason and throughout training camp and throughout the season, Coach Shanahan and all of our coaches, they uh, just harp on us about as soon as you catch the ball, get vertical, find space, split two defenders, and just get as many yards as you can. You know, it's the NFL. You're playing defenses that have great athletes everywhere, so you're not going to win a lot of games just juking people out. You're going to get hit from behind. You're going to fumble the ball. So just get vertical. And then uh, Coach Shanahan, our office coordinators, do a really good job of, you know, calling plays that get our guys in the ball in space and allow us to run routes and get that yak. And also, I mean, when you have Ayuk, uh, Debo, me, and Chris McCaffrey all running routes, you got to double somebody. And then whoever's not double is going to get that one-on-one. -on -one. And when they win, there's a lot of space. And that's what you see on film. How much George. fun do you have with that? Oh, uh, there's nothing like running football in open space. It's one of the coolest things in football. George, there was a lot of newness on the offensive line this year. And how have you seen okay. their chemistry grow from week one to, to now? Oh, I think... Uh, They've gotten so much better. It's um, one thing that we've been completely blessed with is a help, healthy old line all year. I know Trent missed a couple games with an ankle sprain, but besides that, we've been pretty healthy the entire year, and we've been able to, you know, Brunskill's been the sixth guy, and he's helped in and out, and he's gotten a lot of reps. So when you have six guys you can count on, even, I mean, and we have uh, McKivitz too, when you have seven guys you can count on for, you know, any given play, like those guys get all those reps together. They know how each other's going to, they know the steps. They know, hey, when we're going to do this combo block, they know, like, how they're going to come off the football and stuff. And when you have an O-line that uh, gels like they are right now, I think it's a really hard O-line to go against, especially in the run game. George, in your infinite Whoa, wisdom. hey, Vern. <laughs> <laughs> Down here. That was a great one. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, to pull this thing off, I mean, is, is it as simple as the three words, do your job? I mean, that's football, man. It's just doing your job every single day. Um, getting better every single day, which, you know, I think as an offense, is, I mean, as a team, I think we've gotten better uh, every single day. But... Yeah, do your job, protect the football, and get the football for our defense. And you know, that's what this game's going to be. Come out there and be violent, be aggressive, and don't turn the ball over. Um, I mean, my biggest surprise is that he hasn't made any Iowa State jokes because he never beat Iowa. So <laughs> I guess that's my only surprise. Yeah. I mean, I... I always talk about you know his confidence when he came in the huddle the very first time against the Dolphins and he delivered against a bunch of cover zeros. I mean, I, that's what I expect from an NFL quarterback. Now the fact that he's a rookie, he hasn't played all year, and then he stepped into that circumstance, yeah, it's surprising. But like that's what you expect of your teammates. And um, I'm just I'm more just I'm just excited for him that he's taking advantage of the opportunity that's in front of him because you know he could have came in and 
not done all the greatness that he has done. And he could, we could not be on a 11 game win streak or a one game win streak in the playoffs. Like we could be in a completely different scenario, but because of the way Brock Purdy's played and the way that our guys have responded around him, that's why we are where we are. And we just want to keep playing like that. Most guys in the locker room weren't born yet when the 49ers and Dallas Cowboys won six Super Bowls in eight years. It's pretty good football. Yeah. Does that history resonate? Even though it's before those guys were Yes. I think, um, I just remember when I was a rookie, um, John Lynch and Coach Shanahan made it a big deal for our class, like to really, um, you know, learn the history of the 49ers. And, like, so we watched those games, um, Cowboys versus Niners. I learned a lot about the history. And, you know, being a Niner for six years, like, you definitely feel that history. Um, you know, you get to meet all the players that were, you know, played in those games. Um, and you, you can feel that. You can feel like kind of whether it's their hatred or their love for that game, for those rivalries, you feel that. And you definitely, we were standing on their shoulders. And so we might as well uh, continue to build on that. Thanks, guys.